hand placement, feet drive, you know, body position to really like move people out of gaps and everything. And I think today really showed it off. Thank you. Um, you know, I think the offensive line has been working good all year. Um, just today, I think uh, this week of just like really fun focusing down on like fundamentals and everything is what we all needed. Like, especially me with my blocking, um, you know, wasn't that good last week. But that was something we really worked on this week was blocking and getting people, you know, down to the ground or like sustaining blocks so uh, people can run behind. Um, I don't know. I feel like once our offense gets in that mode where we're hitting like five, six, seven, three, ten, like once you get going like that, it's hard to stop because we can run any gap anywhere, get you on the perimeter, get you up the middle option. Like once that the offense gets churning, like I feel like it's hard to stop. When that Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we really wanted to, uh, really just wanted to impose our will, like, on them, um, not just, like, have a bunch of fancy trick plays or anything, we just wanted to, you know, go out there and, um, really do what we're supposed to do. Joe, go ahead on Zoom. Hey, good afternoon, Tyson. Joe Icono with GoBlackKnights.com. Congratulations on the win. Um, wanted to ask you, you know, when things got started today, um, a couple of your runs, Villanova, I think, was doing a really good job filling the gap and stopping your runs for short games. But then um, kind of maybe second or third drive, it seemed like you started having a lot more success. Um, did the coaches make an adjustment there, or was it just getting in the right play, or, or what do you think opened it up after the first drive? Uh, I think it just got a little uh... – Got a little fire on the sideline. Um, Connor Fanukin really stepped up. He uh, was, you know, encouraging our teammates to, you know, get more movement up front. And uh, that's what they did. They did a very good job today. And uh, my final question, you know, with Jacoby out with the injury, you had to take a lion's share of the snaps today. I don't know what the exact percentage was, but it seemed like you were in for 80 to 90 percent of the snaps, which playing that position, we know you're going to hit somebody or be hit on every single play. Um, what was that like for you, and how do you think the uh, strength and conditioning program that you guys go through at Army helped prepare you for that? Um, once once uh, Jacoby went down, um, I didn't know he was actually hurt until we came after he scored the touchdown. And uh, then I knew, like, I was going to be rotating, like, I was going to be in a lot. And I would say, like, mid-second quarter, I got a little gas and everything. But then when we were able to come in, I was really – I was able to catch my breath. And then in that second half, like, that's when it really showed. Like, I wasn't really fatigued anymore. Like, I was good, ready to go. So, like, you know, Coach using them, all the summer running, all, all of that really paid off for me. Ken McMillan, go ahead. Congratulations, Tyson, on the victory. Uh, what does it mean for Army to get this win after the opening two losses? Uh, I think it's a, a push in the right direction, like a snowball, you know, getting it rolling. Um, you know, hopefully next, um, not next week, but two weeks from now, we can uh, uh, improve upon this momentum. Do you like the fact that you're off next week and you got two weeks to prepare, or would you rather just get right back into it? Um, I would say half of me wants a little break, you know, let my body go, but at the same time, like today, like our performance, I thought we were really good and I uh, really want to keep getting to that next game. Um, Tyson, I know you guys don't really talk about it, but you know you've been banged up a little bit, and they keep talking about it. Um, how does how did you feel early in the game, and did you have to grit through it to get through the rest of the game? Uh, I wouldn't I wouldn't say that. I I felt pretty good today. That's how does it feel to have a career day? Because those, those numbers were incredible. Um, it feels good, but I couldn't do it without the without the O line up front. Last thing, uh, can you are you going to joke around with Jacoby because now you both have busted off huge runs? Are you going to compare notes? Um, yeah, I might have to teach him a few things on how to, you know, cap it off. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's it for Tyson. Thank you.
great to Canvas Media. Uh, what does it feel just to get a W and keeping your team encouraged uh, when conference and adversity and now you are able to pull off a big win? You know, it feels good to get a W. Um, just got to keep going. You know, don't don't go patting ourselves on the back because that's not what we're going to do. We need to get ready and stay focused and continue to get better. Is it to uh, the interceptions, 14 to 7, uh, going over the driving, and uh, you were able to dive and leap up to that ball before it went out of bounds. Uh, tell us about the play, if you will. Uh, Coach Woody called a good play. Um, and I kind of just, just, I was just in the right spot at the right time. Uh, seen, I seen an out route. I seen an out route of three, out route of two, and I seen two come up. And I knew I could um, bounce, to, bounce to two and, you know, just got to make a play. And how did it feel just to <clears throat> hold going over the 74 yards passing and 247 yards? That's, uh, that's a pretty good defense today. Yeah, defense, we, we've, been, we've been, we've had a couple rough games, you know, so. Being able to do that and give us some confidence and can continue to build off of that confidence. Thank, Thank you. you. <clears throat> do you have anything? Uh, Seth Nevis and Black Knight Nation. Um, got a couple of, a week off of course, a couple of you know, good games coming up. Do you think the defense will be there for it? Do you, do you learn something today? Or, you know, what do you, what do you predict for the future here in terms of the defense coming together? You know, we're going to focus on us, um, figure out what we need to fix from this past week, and then we'll go from there. Miss tackles, um, missed assignments, just little things like that. Things that we can control. Um, and that's what we need to get into. Controlling the things that we can control. Miss tackles, knowing our assignment, doing our job, playing with good um, fundamentals. You know, th that's what was going wrong with the defense. Um, and we just got to continue to focus on those little things. Thank you. Ken, go ahead on Zoom. Mark Well, Ken McMillan with the record. Uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, take us back to the interception now, because uh, we always talk about receivers and then getting their foot down to make the play. You had to make quite a, uh, a physical catch there. Can you just tell us about how hard it was to make a catch like that? I uh, do that that same exact catch every uh, every pregame of every game. Um, I practice it all the time. Uh, so no, not necessarily. Uh, but four games, I always practice toe touches just in case. Like you never know when that'll happen. So it was, it was, it happened. Make you want to be a receiver? No, I don't like to get tackled. I like being, I like tackling people. There you go. Uh, at that point of the game, though, um, you know, the last two games, you guys have almost been like trading scores and trading series. That really gave Army a little momentum there. Could you just talk about the swing of momentum? We needed that. We needed that two games ago. We needed a turnover. We had, I think it's like 100 and I don't know how many snaps, but there's a lot of snaps that we, we played in the last two games, like 189, something like that, um, and we didn't get a turnover once. You know, we needed that. We needed to create a turnover. We needed that. All right, boom, we're in here. We're, we're going. We're doing the things that we need to do. We're, we're changing the momentum, you know, so I think that's why it pushed to uh, change that momentum the way it did because we needed one. 189 snaps. I don't know if I'm 100% correct, but 189 snaps without a turnover, that's bad. That's bad defense, and we needed turnovers, and so we, could, we, we got some today. And last thing, Mark, well, you were just talking about the things that you guys had to do. What did you do better today? What do you, in your uh, assessment, what do you think Army did better <clears throat> today on defense? Following the plan, getting off on third down, making tackles, creating turnovers, you know, that's what we did. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Joe, go ahead. Good afternoon, Mark Quell, Joe Icono with GoBlackKnights.com. Congratulations on the win, first of all. Thank you. And uh, first question is, you know, you talked about going 189 snaps without creating a turnover, which is, I know is one of the keys to success for Coach Woody's defense and, and your defense. Um, but it seemed like after your interception, then on the very next series, uh, Jabari got another one in the, in, in the end zone. Was it something that was kind of, I don't necessarily want to call it a mental block, but was it like weighing in everybody's heads and then kind of once you <coughs> got yours, it kind of opened up the floodgates a little bit. And yeah. It took the pressure off. Yeah, I think else. I think we have a young team, a young defense right now. A lot of guys that are in roles that they haven't been in. You know, to see to 
see it happen, you know, that boosts, boosts our confidence. And I think, yeah, I think it definitely pushed our confidence up and allowed us to relax and play football. Good stuff. And my final question, um, Bill Nova's quarterback, uh, Watkins, um, had a lot of success running the ball in the first half. And it seemed like in the second half, even when he would initially break contain on pass rush, uh, you guys did a good job pursuing him and, and keeping him to no gain or, or close to no gain. Um, what have you guys no, we didn't change anything. We just talked about fundamentals. We talked about doing your job, like doing your 111th in the defense. And that's the results we got. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. Tyler. Tyler, congratulations on, on the day today. Uh, you really ran the ball very effectively, uh, 472 yards. Uh, what went different today that made your offense successful? I think it was a focus point during the week. Um, coach emphasized that it didn't matter what type of defense they came out in. We had to execute and be elite at the little things, and the line had an elite sense of focus. Slot backs did. Receivers, quarterbacks, B backs, everybody had like a, renew, a renewed sense of focus and locked in on like the little assignments, the little fundamentals, and I think it showed today. Just, just early, uh, Jacoby Buchanan went 52 yards and uh, got stopped short, and then you were able to convert uh, on a seven yard uh, run. Uh, tell us about that drive and TD. Um, is like, like, like I said before, um, we, we ran a lot of base plays. Um, we, we ran um, things that we worked all week, that things that we needed to fix and things that we need to execute on. But Jacoby had a great run. Uh, always, always great when the, when the mob, uh, they open up holes like that. And it starts with them. Every single snap starts with the mob and did a great job. But he had a great run. Um, Coach Davis had an excellent play call. Um, I did what I was coached to do. I made the read and, and I finished the end zone. But it, it always starts with the linemen and it always starts with the coaches and the play calling. And then when it's 7-7 seven to seven in the first quarter, you got a pitch play to uh, Tyrell Robinson for 23 yards and then one to Brian Murphy for 18. And then you were able to score on a 23-yard run. Just check it. First, it seemed like you got the pitch play really well timed in that try. Um, yes, sir. So, like, I, it's, it's, it sounds kind of like a little bit repetitive, but – we, we, we worked on a lot of the th a lot of things we worked on throughout the week were things that, that we could control. Um, our base plays, doing the little things right, so reading, reading our read keys, pitching off of our pitch keys. So those are things we really emphasize, and we feel really good running the true triple option. I feel comfortable running it, but um, throughout the week, Coach put a very big focus on it, um, doing the little things right, just being elite at those fundamentals, and, I, and it showed today. Um, we all, the game was slow. Um, everybody felt comfortable. And just going through those progressions and reads were pretty clear to me. And just in the, in the fourth quarter, when you, you got your third quarter, uh, third touchdown of the day, you went 14 plays, 75 yards, and uh, you got the uh, completed with a three yard run. But it was like a methodical drive of a few years ago. What was that like to be able to just run the ball, play after play? Those are those are my favorite drives. I love I love the explosion plays. I love the 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 good deep pass plays. Um, I love when, when Tyrell takes a 70, but it's, those are my favorite drives is when you can physically see um, the defense wearing down. Um, we're, we're in a good condition. We call those Army football drives, and that was, a, that was an Army football drive. And it was, it was very motivating to see the guys. Um, you would think, like, the guys would get tired, but we have the type of people, they, they get more energy, and they get when we see defenses get tired and exhausted, we, that gives us more energy. So that was a great Army football drive, and once again, it starts with the line. Coach Davis had a great bird eye, bird's eye view and, and making great play calls, but it just starts with the line, and they did a great job, and they did a great job throughout the week. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. It's Seth Mendelson, Black Knight Nation. Congratulations on the win. Um, I, I'm interested very much in, in the offensive line. They seem to um, control the, the play and allowed you guys to really take the ball outside more. 
We didn't see that the first two weeks. Talk about that if you could. So, um, like I mentioned before, throughout the week, um, we didn't we didn't add anything new. Coach Davis, he put a big emphasis on just being elite at our base plays and our base fundamentals. And I think everyone took that to heart. Um, I know in the QB room, we focused on our fundamentals, our read keys, and our progressions. The B-backs had an elite sense of focus. But but it starts with the linemen. And, and, and just looking at them throughout the week, um, they, they were focused on, on their assignments on our base plays. They were focused on the mistakes that they made the previous two weeks. But I think it all comes down to the things that we can control and the things that we can fix personally. So they were locked in on their mistakes. They, they had the hunger to win. Uh, everybody had that hunger to win. But I think them just dialing in and, and, and realizing, like, hey, this is what we need to do to be successful. It doesn't matter. Uh, what, the, what the other team comes out in. If we take the right step, if we um, block the right guy, then we will be successful. Ken, go ahead on Zoom. Hi, Tyre. Ken McMillan from the record. Uh, congratulations on the win. Thank you, sir. Uh, it's kind of funny. Army was rated the number one passing efficiency team in the country, and today you don't throw a single pass. Uh, what does it say about being able to go 472 yards and 55 carries? I mean, it, it says a lot, and I and I keep I keep repeating it, but I think it was the focal point throughout the week. Um, we we really harped on getting back to who we are, and and we're we're a run first football team. Uh, we run the ball effectively. We get our fullbacks going, and we take the right steps. We block the right people. We read the right people. Pitch out the right people. So just our base plays and and just being the lead at those. I think it, it just goes back throughout the week. Um, so when you put in a lot of work and you put in a lot of hard work and you're, you're focused, it, it pays off on Saturday and today it paid off. Mm -hmm. I know you're a team player and you always go back to team, but you had three touchdowns today. Not many Army quarterbacks uh, can claim that in uh, recent years. How did you feel about your performance? Um, so honestly, I don't really uh, think about my performance. Like you said, I'm a, I'm a team, team first kind of guy and it always starts with the line. Uh, if you notice, every time I score, um, I go straight to the linemen. Uh, those are my guys. But I always feel like I have room for improvement. We're going to watch the film tomorrow. We're going to go to practice tomorrow. We're going to see things on film that I could have done better. But it's always room for improvement. But um, it starts with the line. It starts with the slot backs. Uh, because the slot backs, they, do, they have a, a vital point uh, in the certain plays that we run. Uh, the, the receivers do as well. So it starts with the guys up front. It starts with the guys that are blocking. But, um, you know, there's always room for improvement for me personally, and, and uh, I'm looking to get in the film, get back tomorrow, and, and get ready for this bye week in the Georgia State. Obviously, uh, Jacoby going out with the injury early on. Um, yes, you rely on your other teammates, but that's a, that's a big loss right there. What was the mood of the team or your thoughts about, hey, we just lost a big horse, and then Tyson Riley comes up with a huge game? Um, so there was there was no um, kind of like mood swing, uh, so to say, on the team. Of course, everybody hopes that he's okay, but we trust every guy in the locker room. It doesn't matter who's running the ball. It doesn't matter who's in the game. It could be a freshman that comes in the game. It doesn't matter. We trust each other. Uh, I know that everybody knows what to do. That goes back throughout the week, um, just repping it and just doing the little things right. Like, we've seen it. We trust each other. So it doesn't matter. It's similar to the QB room. Like, it doesn't matter. Who was in the game? Me, Kay, Jamel, Bryce, and you see Jamel came in the game and he ran effectively. Kay, he scored a touchdown, commanded the offense and ran effectively. And then Bryce had a great run and then just a minor setback on the drive. But it doesn't really matter who's in the game at any position. We're not going. We're not going to flinch and we're, we're just going to keep going. Uh, last thing, uh, obviously, going home with the victory today feels very good. Uh, just. Do you feel like some pressure has been removed or any doubts been erased? Um, I wouldn't really say like pressure or doubt. Um, you know, we were 0-2. Um, we, we, we had a, a heightened sense of urgency, but everybody's head was in the right place. There were, nobody was down. Because um, we when you look back on it, um, Coach Mungin, he does a great job of emphasizing that the, the reason that we lost those games was because of things that we could control. And if we eliminate those things, like penalties, uh, blocking the wrong guy, uh, just 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 things that we can we can do, then then we'll we'll win every game. So that's that was the main focus. Um, it, it, we didn't feel no pressure. When I could say it was a high sense of urgency, but pressure, you know, it, that never really was a thought. Thank you, sir. Joe, time for two quick ones. Yep. Good afternoon, Tyre. Congratulations on the win. Thank you, sir. 
So after you scored your second touchdown, uh, it looked like you came down kind of hard on your left shoulder. Mm -hmm. And I know Kate played the rest of the first half and obviously did a great job. Um, was that just part of the normal rotation, or were they holding you out a little longer to help you recover a little bit? Um, that was definitely part of the rotation. Um, wasn't shoulder related, just got the wind knocked out of me, so I was fine after a few minutes. Um, that was definitely part of the rotation. Coach, he, he does a good job of letting us know um, how much we're going to play, what drive we're going to go um, going on, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Okay, final question. Um, you know, I, I'm sure mentally after a, a great game like today, you're probably ready to go back and play tomorrow. But physically, with jo Jacoby being hurt and some of the other guys being a little banged up, are you happy to have the week off before you get Georgia State? Um, it's always great to have a, a bye week to recover, but even during the bye week, we still practice very hard. Um, but even if Jacoby, um, you know, God forbid, he, he's not able to return for the next game, we have guys that are willing to step up. We have Tyson Riley. Um, he, he's a, he had a great game, runs the ball very hard. And we have a lot of guys in every position. If somebody goes down, uh, they'll be able to do their job and step up. So there's a lot of confidence and a lot of trust on this team. So, you know, hopefully we get those guys back. Hopefully we're 100% going into Georgia State after the bye week. But if not, you know, we're going to keep the train rolling. Thank you for tying in. Thanks, Afternoon, everybody. It's a, it's a lot more fun to sit down here and talk to you guys than it was last week, I can tell you that. So, proud of our guys. Good to get a win. Coach, uh, congratulations. It seemed that uh, uh, the key was the two interceptions you had in the second quarter when, uh, when you're up 14-7. to seven, looked like Villanova was driving again. Two drives in a row, you get the interceptions. How important was that, and what, what led up to those plays? Those were critical for sure. And uh, Villanova is a good football team. They've got a lot of good players. They're a very well-coached football team. Uh, the success that they've had, I mean, they're, they're, they're one of the top teams in that division. I coached in that division for a long time as an assistant coach and as a head coach, and they've always been a team that's been one of the top teams in, in that division. And I can assure you that that's not a team that uh, – that, we felt like uh, was going to be an easy game for us. We knew it was going to be a tough football game. They're, uh, they're, you can see how big they are up front. and So, you know, our, our guys just were very prepared and I think worked harder at the fundamentals and, and their keys and positioning themselves where they're, where they're supposed to be. And you know, we had a couple times we got out of, uh, we got out of phase with a guy in, in coverage and we were – Poorly positioned, but I think that was just a result. Those two, those two interceptions of guys just being where they're supposed to be, and 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 not having bad eyes. And you know, we actually had another a chance to get another pick and and, uh, and dropped it. But there was one went through our hands down there in the end zone. There was there was opportunities to get some others. So those guys were were in the right place, and and uh, just the the early parts of the game. It really felt like Villanova was was able to move the ball and move it pretty well against us, and, uh, and they, they had a couple big plays. But um, you know, they converting third downs and and those those what the it, what the interceptions do it just it just takes the wind out of their 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 balloon. You know they they they've got momentum and they've got a drive going, and all of a sudden they turn it over. And when we can take those turnovers and score, which we didn't. Um, Particularly on the first one, it was disappointing. We didn't get to, we had to punt it back to him. But uh, when you take those turnovers and score, that really shifts the momentum of the game. And but uh, we give our defense credit. I mean, they went back out there and they started getting some stops and and uh, and forcing the punt and getting them in, into some situations that that uh, were probably a little uncomfortable for them and you know, able to keep them off the scoreboard there until 
They kicked that field goal in the second half. Coach, just on the first couple of drives, the first drive, Jacoby Buchanan runs 52 yards and it sets up Tyre, Tyler's uh, seven yard touchdown. But then I thought on the second drive, you really got the pitch plays going well. Well time, you got one play to Tyrell Robinson for 23 yards, Marianne Murphy got one for 18, and then uh, Tyre ran, ran that one in 23 yards. Seemed like you really had the running game in, in, uh, going well. Jacoby hit that trap play early in the game, and, and we hit it a couple times. Uh, T Tyson had a really good run on a trap play. Um, where, we, where we weren't getting the consistent runs inside was we, we had a one-yard gain and then another one-yard gain and a two-yard gain, and, and it, we, we really got this thing going. We get the fullback going. Um, but it, it gave us some opportunities because they were eliminating the fullback in the in the option reads to get the ball on the perimeter. And we got the ball on the perimeter, we did it a couple of times, uh, make some good blocks and, and allow those guys to, to kind of get rolling. And once they get rolling then it, it's you know it's just pursuit and the defense is has got to run from sometimes a long way away to, to uh to add to the tackle. So um, I thought our quarterbacks did a really good job of reading it. There's probably a couple of times where we wish they'd hand it off or wish they'd have pulled it or you know Cody will get those guys squared away on that and look at that. But I, I know over the headphones there was a couple of times where we thought maybe we could have uh, made a little different decision on the option plays. But you know, that was it was good to see that get going. And, uh, and I was glad to see our, uh, our slots get out there and be able to get their shoulders square and get turned and get running. And I think we got some got pretty good guys with the ball. And, and Tyrell Robinson, certainly you watch him on that punt return. He's, he's a pretty talented guy. So it's good to see him get going. And Coach, after the two interceptions that your defense uh, produced, uh, Tyson Riley at the 35-yard run that set up Kate Ballard's six-yard run. And then to open the second half, Tyson Riley goes 70 yards. Uh, what about the lift that he gave you offense today? Uh, Tyson isn't healthy. He's not, he's not completely healthy. He hasn't been since... Uh, well, probably two weeks before we played our first game. Got injured in preseason camp, kind of hobbled through the preparations for Coastal Carolina. Um, felt better when we went to Coastal Carolina, but he tweaked it again. And, uh, and then so we kind of had to nurse him back to health to, to, uh, to get him prepared to play against UTSA. He wasn't full speed against UTSA, and, and that, that showed. I thought he looked better today than he has in the previous two Saturdays. But I think there's still, I mean, he's, he's still capable of playing faster and, and playing more physical, and that'll come when he, gets, when he gets healthy. So I was just really proud of his effort and how hard he played, how hard he ran. Um, you know, that, that, one, that one run going toward the scoreboard, he was kind of dipping and diving and making people miss and running through some tackles. And it's a really good run for a guy that's, it's a little bit hobbled. Coach, final question, just this week. Your message to the team, uh, uh, you were pretty animated at practice on Wednesday. What was your overall message to the team about preparing for this game? Animated is a nice word, Ken. I tell you, you're, you are, you're very gracious. You know that? Uh, yeah, I, I wouldn't describe it as animated, but that's a nice way to say it. I think I'll use that again the next time I, I get like that. I'm, I'm just a little animated. Um, we needed to emphasize playing better fundamentally, not, not making mistakes that we can control. Foolish penalties, missed assignments, things that have nothing to do with the other team. When we, when we play with poor fundamentals, we play with poor pad level, we take a step that's too flat and we should gain ground, we put our hands in the wrong place, we have our eyes undisciplined, that has nothing to do with the other team. That, that, that's our responsibility. It's the coach's responsibility uh, to, to teach our guys, to make sure they, they, they do those things, understand the fundamentals, and know their assignments. Uh, and it's our player, the jobs of our players to, to pay attention and to listen and to execute. And we just weren't doing that as efficiently as we needed to. And it's little things. And little things grow into big big problems. And so um, it's my fault for not being maybe more animated 
about some of the little things that we were missing. And uh, I just, again, I got, I, sometimes I got to draw, draw a line in the sand where, you know, I get a little too animated and it probably is, is detrimental. So sometimes they just need to, they just need to have me be a little more animated. And, and so I think I got their attention and, uh, and we continue to do that throughout the week. And so I was just proud of the guys. You know, they didn't, they, I think they know me well enough. They know it's coming from a place of love, uh, that I want them to be the best they can be. I want them to, to have an opportunity to succeed. And if I allow them to, to be lax on the little things, that that's not going to give them a chance to maximize who they can be. And so that's my, my job. And it's my pledge to them that I'm always going to do that. So I, I was really happy with the way our guys responded. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Ken. That's Seth Madison, Black Knight Nation. Congratulations. Great win. Actually a fun game, too. Um, uh, always fun when you win. How do you keep the momentum going now? You have two weeks to go. You have a week off. Um, how do you keep this momentum that you've built up over the last couple of days, maybe, going? If you always believe that you're going to win and you always believe that you can play your best uh, and you always believe that the, the next chance you have to compete that you're going to be able to to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with that guy and have a chance to win then you never lose momentum and so momentum is just is just believing this game helps us because we're going to be able to learn from it we're going to be able to see things that we did well. Uh, and we did some things well in the first two games. But we, we did a lot of things poorly. There's going to be th things that we'll see on today's film that we did poorly, that we've got to correct. And so this, this game today will help us prepare for the next game. And that's, that's what it's good for. I'm glad we won. It beats the alternative every day of the week. But there's things to learn. And still a lot of season left. And, and a lot of things we need to improve on. So our, our coaches, just as we talked on the phones and as we talked at halftime with our players and went through the game, every time we gather up over on the sideline, we're correcting mistakes. We're, 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 we're praising them and we're, we're encouraging them about the things they did well, but we're also we're correcting mistakes because we can't go out there and make another mistake. It might cost us. So there's things we've got to work on. And uh, But I, I, I don't think our guys – lost momentum after the Coastal Carolina game. That didn't affect us in UTSA. There wasn't any hangover. And the UTSA game didn't affect us in this one because our guys believe that, that they can compete against anybody we play. Now, with that said, we've got to play really well. And if we don't play really well, then whoever we play can beat the pants off of us. One more question. Mm -hmm. That's good. Um, injuries, uh, Buchanan, what, 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 do we know how injured he is at this point? Uh, no, the, the training staff will, will kind of assess where he's at. Oftentimes when a guy gets hurt, um, you know, it, it's like anything. You, you, you uh, slam your hand on a car door, it hurts a lot worse in the first 24 hours than maybe it does the next 24 hours. And once we kind of get it to calm down and and see what the swelling looks like and see how he responds to them, you know, uh, evaluating it, we'll have a better idea. But uh, you know, x-rays and MRIs and all those things that are available really help us get a, uh, a deep dive into what's going on. And we'll do all those things to, to try to figure that out. So hopefully it's not something serious. Uh, we just don't know at this point. Thank you. Joe, you can go first. Good afternoon, Coach Monkin. Congratulations on the win, becoming the second winningest coach in Army football history. First question is, um, so, you know, today you guys ran for 470 yards, um, won the turnover battle two to nothing. How exciting was it? You know, obviously this is the final score of the game is the thing that matters at the end of the day, but how exciting was it for you to see the team play what's become known as the Army football brand? 
I was, I was glad, glad to see us get the turnovers and win the turnover battle. That that stat alone has more to do with wins and losses than any other stat in football. Um, 78% of the college football games last year were won by the team that won the turnover battle. So it's it's a big deal. We, we lost the, turn, the turnover battle in each of the first two games. We still had a chance to win, but, but the turnovers certainly made a difference. Uh, and so I was glad to see our guys get the turnovers today and uh and so you know it, i think running the football and stopping the run the emphasis we put on that you've seen us play enough football over the years you know that that that's our formula for winning we were able to do that successfully today and when we can do that and control the clock and control the line of scrimmage it usually works out better for us so we're just really happy with the way the guys played how hard they played and and uh I, we're thrilled to get a victory. We're obviously not satisfied with, with just one victory. We want to get more, but can't get the second one until you get the first. So it's good to get the first win. And final question. Um, it was a really physical game on both sides of the ball. We already talked about Jacoby Buchanan's injury, uh, but Camden O'Gara went down, I think. Um, Komoraski, a couple other guys. Kind of same status with a lot of them as, as Jacoby. You got to wait on the tests and everything and see how everything looks, or do we have any? Como came back in. Komorowski came back into the game. So uh, that was just they took him out and evaluated him as precautionary. Uh, Camden uh, did not enter the game again. And it looks like he's got something that's probably going to keep him out for a little bit. Um, we'll, uh, we'll get a, a better idea of that as we go into tomorrow and the doctors get a chance to look at him. But he's, he's, he, uh, he got hurt. You obviously saw him. TV, he hurt his arm, they were holding his arm. and So we'll get that figured out and, and uh, get him back as soon as we can. Ken? Uh, Jeff, uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, the defense managed to cut the huge gouge plays, 10 or more yards per game, in half this week. Uh, and you forced the quarterback to scramble. Can you just sort of elaborate a bit on what the defense did better today? We tackled better. And that was something we really needed to do. We didn't tackle very well in the first two games. A lot of that had to do with the, the people we were playing. They were very talented. Not that these guys weren't. We just we took better angles. A couple of times we lost contain on the quarterback, and that was that was disappointing. They had a, a, a conversion when the quarterback rushed down our sideline. I believe it was in the first half. Uh, they, had, they had a long yard situation, and, and uh, we let him out, and – you know, that's that, those are the things that when you got a chance to get a, a team in uh, into a long third down situation or make them go out and punt, we got to do that. Uh, we're not going to get away with that against Georgia State. So I, I, I was happy that we we cut the big plays down. There were there were way too many of those. We, we talked about that last Saturday after the game, but uh, we did a better job with that. We had some big plays of our own. That was that was positive and. Uh, a lot of those led to led to touchdowns and set up, you know, set us up for victory. Really, I mean, the big plays were were a huge part of the game for us on offense. Kobe going down early uh, really kind of changes the tone and the game plan a bit. Uh, you've talked about before about playing hurt versus playing injured. Tyson's been playing a little bit hurt. Um, what does it say about his effort today? Knowing did you go to him and say? All right, Tyson, you're going to get the ball a heck of a lot more today. And what do you think about him gutting it out? Oh, like I said, he's a tough, tough guy. We've got a bunch of tough guys on our team. And I think it showed uh, a lot about his character to go out there and play the, way, play the way he did, run the ball like he did, knowing that he was injured. But he knew. He knew when, when Buchanan went out he was going to have to, to carry the load, and he did. And, and, uh, and I was really proud of him. So, you know, when, when Buchanan went out, nothing changed. I mean, we we didn't change our game plan. We didn't call different plays than we planned to call, or uh, you know, had to flip the game plan card over and say, "Okay, here's the game plan without Jacoby." We just kept playing, and uh, so as Tyre Tyler said when he was up here talking, we we had a plan that we were going to run those plays that we ran today, and we were going to try to run them better, and we run them all year and establish the line of scrimmage and knock those guys off the ball. And we were able to do that for the most part. As I mentioned, 
Villanova did a good job up front. We had some fullback runs where we handed it off to Jacoby or, or, or Riley or uh, to Hayden Reed or whoever was lined up there at B-back, and they stuffed us. We had uh, you know, a, a give play for, for a yard. We had a power play for a yard. We ran the, the midline option, and we handed the ball off. We got two yards. Uh, we, got, we got to get more yards than that. So there's, there's still a lot of things we can do better, and that comes down to fundamentals. And, and so we'll, we'll have some, some good film to teach around.